All right, we're in the kitchen with Chef Chris Hill of The Bachelor Kitchen. You said this is a favorite late night meal. It is. You know, we all, um, every now and then, even I go out with my buddies, have a couple cocktails, or maybe not, but uh, we come home back to the house and you're always hungry. It's midnight, 1 a.m. Right. You order pizza or you get Taco Bell. Here's a, a good way to A, cure a hangover, but B, also to have something that's not horrible for you mm -hmm. and um, fills you up and you feel good going to sleep. All right, I hope it's easy to make. It sure is. Okay, because you're claiming it's so easy to make, you can have a couple of cocktails. I mean, you see how many ingredients? In you see how many ingredients we have here? Yes, it's pretty simple. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get started on it in just a second. All right, we're back now in the kitchen with Chef Chris Hill from the Bachelor Kitchen, making. You said no, you've done this before. I actually like it was inspired by two weekends ago. By true, inspired by true events. That's right. I had a buddy in town, had a good time, and knew we were gonna come back and needed some food. Brisket delicious um it's kind of lean so yep. you don't want to cook it too hot you want to do it low and slow okay we have a bunch of uh, seasonings here like a dry rub mm -hmm. which um actually let's throw it on this pan right here and we'll season it on here okay but we have some obviously salt and pepper some cumin chili powder mm -hmm. uh some paprika the, you said this part you can do ahead of time like before you go out so this could be kind of a premeditated thing yeah ideally if you're going to be going out um throw it in the crock pot okay. and then um that way you don't have your oven on. You're not going to set off the fire alarm or anything. Right. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just coat this pretty liberally. And then we're going to sear it off in the pan. Okay. I'm going to put it back in this pan, throw it in the oven for about 45 minutes per pound. This is about three pounds I have right here. So. And you're not kidding. This 225, low temperature. I have a 225 now. I think it's still building up. It's going to be at 275. Okay. 275. Um, but this one is, as long as you don't cook it too hot, it's going to not dry out it's going to just really tenderize and be really nice okay so here we have like a pretty hot pan you want a little good sizzle and when you sear it good like that on each, we'll do it on each side that seals all the flavors in that mm -hmm. way when it's cooking those all absorb throughout the whole process okay um we also have some poached eggs here uh people are kind of freaked out about poached eggs at least cooking them we've all had them with our eggs benedict or whatever else um but right, people are afraid to make it at home because they're afraid it's going to bust apart. Yeah, they're, well, they're very delicate. Um, I'll let you do this since my hands are kind of dirty. But, okay. Uh, put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of this bowl. All right. What, what we you see is plastic wrap right there, right? A little stainless steel bowl lined with plastic wrap. Yep. And I'm putting in some olive just oil. A, just a little bit. And what that's going to be is um, a little lubricant so it doesn't is stick when you're trying to take it out. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And then you're going to crack an egg in, obviously gently so we don't bust the yolk. All right. That was nice and gentle. Thank you. And then put a little bit of salt and pepper on there. And it's also really important for poached eggs that they are very uh, fresh. Okay. Because the fresher they are, the more the, uh, the whites are going to stick to the to the yolk. So okay. um, obviously for po poached eggs, they'll kind of fall apart otherwise. Yep. Good now um, you'll wrap it up. So close this all up. Yep. And then actually I have here, I have... Um, you put saran wrap in boiling water? Yep. Oh, actually, we brought it to a boil, and then brought it back down to a simmer, so it's still pretty hot. Okay. Then here's some plaster wrap also, and you just tie it up with this. Okay. You got that? Like a little package. There you go. And we'll just drop it in for about four minutes. It'll be like a medium yolk, so it'll be a little bit runny, but not uh, totally underdone. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. So, yeah, if you want, go ahead and drop it in. And a little salt and pepper is in there, too. Yeah. That way it's nice and seasoned. What we're going to do is we're making an open-faced sandwich with this bread here. Yeah. Put the uh, the brisket on top and then top it with a poached egg. You just go ahead and drop it. Yeah, it'll do its thing. All right. Top it with the, uh, so we'll slice some of this bread up, toast it off, then that, top it with some of the brisket, finish it off with a poached egg. Mm -hmm. So instead of like a barbecue sauce, which should make it nice and moist, we'll just throw that. The, the yolk will run all over the barbecue. It'll be really nice. Mm -hmm. And we'll melt it with some of this Irish white cheddar. Now, where do you get and, the um, Irish white cheddar? Um, pretty much you need... Uh, grocery store should have it. Mm -hmm. So um, why do you like to use that on this sandwich? Um, it, it's well, they, they usually age theirs a little bit longer, mm -hmm. so it's, it's got a nice kind of rich, deep flavor. Okay. Um, but if you can't find that, um, obviously normal cheddar or even like a, a good aged Swiss. So. All right. So we will put the sandwich together, and sometimes you know, at the end of the night, another cocktail is in order. So That's Chris right. will show us one of his favorite like late night recipes for setting up the bar at home. All right. Thanks, Chris.
That's good. It's nice. Yeah, it's real nice. Irish white cheddar. That's right. Going on top of our open face brisket sandwich. Chris Hill is back from the Bachelor Kitchen with what you call one of your favorite kind of late night. Everything's closed. Can't find anything good to eat out there in the world, That's so you right. make this at home. Exactly. Yeah, and anything with protein, especially something like eggs. It has an amino acid in it that actually helps kill um, your hangover. Helps you recover. That's right. So um, um, there's your poached egg. How good does that look? Well, well let's take it out right first. Right now, we'll it look. looks awful. How do you get it out? Well, you have a knife right it. there. I use, you use just it on slice the it open. Yep. Like just be careful because you don't want to uh, cut my hand open. Or the oak, yeah. We agree on. Oh, I'm worried about my hand. You're worried about me busting I, I also, as, the oak. I had another brisket that I had to obviously do since we only have four yeah. hours here on the show. But as it finished up, I put a little liquid smoke on there. Mm -hmm. It's um, since we don't have an actual smoker, it gives some of that essence without actually having the uh, the smoke there itself. We all wish we had four hours. When That's you were right. Here. Yeah. I was a little Me slow too. on the uptake for all that one, Chris. All right, all but yeah, we do. We always happen. wish we had more time. All right, it's looking better now that I'm yeah, right. un pe right. unpeeling it. I can see why putting the olive oil is so important. Exactly, it just totally sticks. I washed my hands during the commercial too. So if you mm. want to throw some cheddar on there? Yes, but I'm, it's going to fall. And then we'll throw that in the oven. Add the oven this on the broiler. Mine, you guys. It's going to fall. All right. You got that? Yep. I'm building a wall with the cheese. There you go. And again, if you're at 2 a.m. in the night, nobody's really care that much, right? That's true. There you I'd go. Imagine trying to do so that. Yeah, add that on broiler. It was melted off for like about two minutes or so. All right. And hopefully by the time we're done with this segment, or maybe by the total end of the show, we'll be done. All righty. Now, you mentioned sometimes you just suddenly feel inspired to make another cocktail. That's right. Here we go. Um, back to my southern roots. I have some Jack Daniels, some southern comfort, um, some iced tea. So mm -hmm. I have uh, two cups of uh, iced tea, unsweet. I have some sour mix, mm -hmm. some OJ, some Jack Daniels, a cup. A mm -hmm. um, little half cup of Southern Comfort on New Orleans. And then it's a little bit of um, triple sec, a half cup of triple sec, and then a quarter cup of grenadine. It seems like the sandwich would help you recover just from that. That's right. That well, maybe maybe right have that early on. Started. Or, or hair the dog, right? <laughs> yes. And then we just have some oranges and limes we can garnish it with mm -hmm. and um, pour it over ice and done deal. Okay. That's right. Nice and refreshing, especially this time of year, right? I'm going to take your word for it because I have another newscast to do right after the show. Right. So, you know, I can't take chances like that. And I can't spill on my outfit. So we'll have to be very careful when we try that open face sandwich in. in just a little bit. That's right. So how did you discover the recipe for the, uh, for the sandwich? Um, I've been playing around with some things. Yeah. I love the idea of having something with the, the egg yolk melting or everything so you don't need a sauce per se. It kind yeah. of just takes care of itself. Um, and as we're talking, let's see. It's just about there. Well, you know what? If, it, if, if you tight. feel like it needs a Let's little more time, second. we've got a little more time. Okay. We'll take another look at it when I bring Chris and Ariane back in just a little bit to eat it. Okay, yum. All right, thanks, Chris. Yep.